Hey guys, I got a video for you today on how to make RC car trailers. So basically what happened was a while ago I made a video on how to make a trailer and basically when I was about to upload it to YouTube I thought well I had a lot of conveniences when I was making my trailer in the sense of well things fit just right and I had all the stuff laying around and it all worked out perfect. So my challenge to myself was to go to the local hardware store buy a bunch of materials and see if I can make one. So if you guys wanted to, you could go to your hardware store and you'd know how to make it. So first I'm going to show you the old footage and then I'm going to show you the new footage. So I hope you guys enjoy and leave a like if you did. Hey guys, Yang Wong here. I got a video for you today on how to build an RC car trailer. So the materials you're going to need are a piece of particle board, some Meccano, and some zap straps. Those are the three main things you're going to need and I'm going to show you some other things that I've done to mine to personalize it and make it more custom to me. So the deck of the trailer is made out of your particle board, your mechano is going to be the base, and the zap straps are going to be for strength. I'll get to all that later, but I hope you enjoy the video and learn how to make a trailer. Alright guys, so here's the trailer itself. Um, you can see the three things. I got the plywood, the mechano, and the zap straps up there. So what you're going to be doing first is making a frame out of mechano. So you can see how I've done that here. And it goes all the way around. And that's how big your trailer is going to be, however big you make your frame. So once you've made your frame and added some sort of hitch mechanism. You see, and I've used these curved pieces of mechano that I had and put this piece on the end. So it's a hitch and that's how it'll connect to my car. And I'll show you how that works later. But once you have this ready, you can put your plywood in, measure it and then cut it so it just has a tiny bit of overhang over your frame. So once you've done that, you are ready to put your axles in. You can either go buy a, I don't know, more cheap RC from a store that you have around or something and just get the wheels off it. But the mechanical set that I have actually came with wheels, so I used those. So first you're going to need to find some sort of rod to use as an axle for your wheels that you have. I have went for two axles, so that means I have two sets of wheels here. And this rod fits perfectly and it also conveniently fits right through that hole of mechanical. So I, you can see this green piece here, how it has that kind of bend in it. That's my axle holder. So you guys need to figure out a way to do that on your car, make some sort of way to hold your axles and find some sort of axles that you can use. So once you've done that, I recommend threading um, the ends of your axles so you can put nuts on to hold your wheels in just like you would on your normal RC. So once you've done that, I recommend thread locking your entire Meccano set because Meccano has a tendency to come undone when you don't want it to and when you're driving around with your sweet trailer you're gonna have bolts and screws and everything falling off and you don't want that, right? So, once you've thread locked it, you're pretty much done the bare part of your trailer. So the first thing I recommend doing once you've completed the main part of your trailer is adding these zap straps. You can actually add anything in, but you have to make this trailer hitch system strong because Meccano likes to bend as well. So once you've strengthened this so it cannot bend up or down, you are ready to move on to more less important things. So me, I like underglow on my cars. So I thought, hey, that'll be pretty cool to have on a trailer. So what I did is I took my lights. You've actually probably seen these in my other video about my drift car, which I'll link in the description so you can check out these lights. And what basically they do is light up in a total string. And when you mount them on the bottom of your car, they provide underglow. So here, let's take a look at what it looks like. There. So when you're driving it is gonna be shining purple under your car mine are purple it kinda looks blue on camera but that's just because of the lens and not liking UV kinda stuff 
So it's powered off of three double A's, so you don't have to worry about attaching it to your actual battery that you're running your car off of and draining it more. LEDs don't do that much anyways, but it's just nice to have something extra that you don't have to rely on your actual car battery. So you can have it sitting out just for show without your car being attached to it. So that's my lights. And if you actually look, it's completely symmetrical. If there's a light here, there will be a light over here. If there's a light here, there will be a light here. So it's completely symmetrical. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And let's look at some other things I've done. So I also want this for show a lot. So what I've done is done a matching paint job to my new bandit paint and the trailer. So you can see it's green, red, and then white, and then green, red, and white on the back. So I like, I really like the pattern color of this. And another thing I did on the bandit was paint on the outside of the body. Most people say you should never paint on the outside, you should paint on the inside. But this is the actual original body that I got with my bandit, and I had no way to paint on the inside because it came pre-painted. So what I did was I spray painted over the top of it, and so far it's been hanging in really good. I'm surprised that it hasn't been chipping off or anything. And I just so took some acrylic black paint, and I painted in the windows with a brush, and that came out good. It only take, took about three coats, which is pretty good for acrylic paint. So now that I've shown you all the upgrades and stuff you can do to your trailer, I'm going to show you how to make the hitch that actually attaches to your car. So this is how I made the hitches on both of my cars to be able to attach the trailer onto. Both hitches are different because they are both different cars and they have different ways to attach things. So on my Traxxas Bandit VXL, I've actually attached the hitch right to my rear bumper. Usually they would look like this, and that's the one with the wheelie bar on. And it just would normally look like that. So the way I attached this onto here was I built a little rig with Meccano. And this piece actually isn't Meccano. It's a different type of brand, knockoff brand. And it fits perfectly over the top of this bar here. The, you, if you were running the wheelie bar, which would be unnecessary because you have a trailer on the back and you're not going to be able to do wheelies, you would need these holes. But because I have two different rear bumpers, I've drilled a wood screw into here on both sides that bolts this Meccano into place. And then I've put some screws, uh, Meccano screws in, and it's all been branched down into this piece, which is the actual hitch. So if I didn't do any of this zip tie work here, basically what would happen is this th whole thing would just flip up. So what I did was I took three, um, zip ties and I've attached them to different parts of the rear um, bumper so this cannot move back no matter what I'm actually pulling on this really hard and it's not moving it in a little bit so that's the way this bumper setup works now let's move on to the HPI bumper setup so basically what I've done is taken this piece of knockoff mechano there you see the very far one and it fits perfectly under the tiny little HPI drift car bumper they got there. So once that has been screwed in using the, these two screws there that you see at the top, um, it fits in perfectly and I could just bridge my Meccano off that. So I've taken a few different joint pieces and taken this long piece of Meccano so it has room to fit under my body because the body actually comes out to about here and all this is extra space that isn't being used. So I had to compensate for that, and I have, and it attaches to the hitch just like this, and I put a screw in there, and that's how that would work. So, and it keeps under the body, so I don't have to do anything with my actual body. It's all just normal stuff building with Meccano. Meccano is the key here. So the way the Bandit one works is you simply put this over there, Grab your little Meccano nut that I got here, and this just screws in a couple times. Not tight because you won't be losing this piece because it is um, facing up and it, you're not going to be have it permanently on there. You're going to be taking it on and off if you, depending on you want the trailer on or off. And then it is completely 
attached. There's no friction or anything. Um, it has a bit of give this way, and that's not the mechano bending, that's just the gap between the screw. And that's how it attaches. So those are the two different ways. So basically the deck of the trailer is made out of plexiglass. This is made out of ABS plastic, but you could use plexiglass just as easy. Um, the wheels are off of a RC car, like new bright one that I found at the hardware store. And this is a Tupperware container that I found. And then there's also these lights that I found at the hardware store. So everything here is from the hardware store, even the batteries that power the lights. So now I'm going to go over the instructions on how to build it. Alright guys, so the first thing you have to do is decide how big you want your trailer to be. So, once you figure that out, you can measure and cut your shaft and your body of your trailer. So, once you've done that, you can decide on how you're going to make your axles. So what I've done is taken the tires from my new Bright RC that I bought from the hardware store. I'll just show you what the body of it looks like. It looks like that. It's a Hummer truck, I guess you could call it. So, I took the tires off that, and I've mounted them onto a piece of coat hanger. Then I've taken two pieces of sheet metal, bent them like this into an L, drilled one hole on the side that I wanted to show, and two on the bottom. The two get screwed into my plexiglass, and the one is the hole for the axle, and I've done that on both sides screwed it in and that's my axle. It spins pretty good, you know. Okay, then how I've made this Tupperware container is I've just taken a hot Tupperware container and hot glued it right to the base. And I've done the same thing with this decorative tire. So it's on basically a little another piece of this sheet metal that I've bent into a triangle and I've put it on to here and I've just hot glued it and I've hot glued the tire to the piece of metal and it just looks like a cool decorative spare tire.